Good morning and welcome to St. John's Liturgy Online. These are our morning prayers for Friday, May the 22nd. If you have a book of alternative services, you're welcome to follow along. Otherwise, simply hear the prayers and scriptures of the day. We will begin on page 47. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Son of Righteousness has risen. O come, let us worship. Psalm 85 You have been gracious to your land, O Lord. You have restored the good fortune of Jacob. You have forgiven the iniquity of your people and blotted out all their sins. You have drawn all your fury and turned yourself from your wrathful indignation. Restore us then, O God, our Savior. Let your anger depart from us. Will you be displeased with us forever? Will you prolong your anger from age to age? Will you not give us life again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will listen to what the Lord God is saying, for he is speaking peace to his faithful people and to those who turn their hearts to him. Truly, his salvation is very near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. The Lord will indeed grant prosperity, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and peace shall be a pathway for his feet. Let us pray. God of grace, you love the world so much that you gave your only Son to be our Savior. Help us to rejoice in our salvation by showing mercy and truth, and by walking in the way of righteousness and peace. We ask this in his name and for his sake. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 2. You were dead through the trespasses and sins in which you once lived, following the course of this world, following the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work among those who are disobedient. All of us once lived among them in the passions of our flesh, following the desires of flesh and senses, and we were by nature children of wrath like everyone else. But God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved, and raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the ages to come he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not the result of works so that no one may boast. For we are what he has made us, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand to be our way of life. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Let us pray, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. I invite your prayers for the ministry of the Church at St. John's and throughout our community, our diocese, and around the world. O Lord, guard and direct your Church in the way of unity, service, and praise. Lord, hear our prayer. Invite your prayers for the world and for our leaders in this community, our province, and our nation. Give to all nations an awareness of the unity of the human family. Lord, hear our prayer. Invite your prayers for this day that lies before us. Cleanse our hearts of prejudice and selfishness and inspire us to hunger and thirst for what is right. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our farmers and for all of those who provide us with food and essential services. Teach us to use your creation for your greater praise, that all may share the good things that you provide. Lord, hear our prayer. I invite you to pray for our health care workers. Strengthen all who give their energy or skill for the healing of those who are sick in body or in mind. Lord, hear our prayer. I invite you to pray for all who are on your mind this day who are in trouble, illness, or distress. Set free all who are bound by fear and despair. Lord, hear our prayer. I invite your prayers for Colleen and Rod Murray and all of their family as they mourn the death of their mothers, Teresa and Sheila. Grant a peaceful end and eternal rest to all who are dying and your comfort to those who mourn. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, your Son, Jesus Christ, ascended to the throne of heaven that he might rule over all things as Lord. Keep the Church in the unity of the Spirit and in the bond of his peace, and bring the whole of creation to worship at his feet, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you and those whom you love with everything good, that you might continue to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. 
I invite you to join us on Sunday online for our Ascension Day Liturgy from St. John's Alora. In the meantime, go in peace to love and serve the Lord and have a safe weekend.